every week many things are happening in MMORPG gaming world, so I have decided to bring to you every Sunday fresh news here on my YouTube channel. You will find out all you need to know about the new upcoming MMORPGs, new events, new updates and much more just within few minutes time. So let's not waste time, let's dive into video. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. Let's start this evening with Tower of Fantasy. This is a free-to-play anime MMORPG which was released here in the West a while ago and you can see here in front of you beside the new update 2.5. This evening I need to talk about Tower of Fantasy because another interesting news. So probably on my YouTube channel you have already seen some content regarding Tower of Fantasy. I have to say after the release of the game I have really actually enjoyed a lot in playing this game. Sadly later I didn't um, have much time to play Tower of Fantasy. I have tried to play some other new MMORPGs but every now and then I'm checking what is happening with this game. In the previous week I have noticed this. You can see here, I'm here on official YouTube channel of PlayStation and believe it or not, Tower of Fantasy is coming to PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. For this occasion, we have get this trailer. Strangely, I still didn't see any kind of official information over there on official Twitter account of Tower of Fantasy. However, come on, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Look at these graphics. It's not only about graphics, if you like to play anime kind of MMORPGs, I can highly recommend to you try to play Tower of Fantasy because battle in this game, combat system, it's absolutely amazing. Combat is the, in this game is fast, fluid, it feels really, really dynamic and uh, look at this in front of you. Beautiful graphic design, be amazing combat and also huge diversity of different kind of characters, weapons. Check it out also on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. When? Well, probably very, very soon. Also, what is interesting, I can show you here that Tower of Fantasy is now available on Epic Game Store. Yes, you can play this game on your PC and mobile devices. And since recently, you can see here, you can play this game throughout Epic Game Store. So check Tower of Fantasy now in 2023 while we are waiting for release of some other new MMORPGs later during 2023. Well, I would say one very viable option to play if you like to play anime MMORPGs. Let's go forward with Chrono Odyssey. Chrono Odyssey is a new upcoming MMORPG developed by NPixel for PC and consoles. Yes, you have heard good, not for mobile devices. I have seen many comments in the past that Chrono Odyssey will be a mobile game. Well, it will not be a mobile game. It will be game for PC and PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Chrono Odyssey, something absolutely exciting to play later during 2023. For now, there is no release date. An announcement of this game we have get in 2020. This trailer, which you can see right now in front of you, is an official website of Chrono Odyssey. And this website is up basically since 2020. But lately, things are starting to happen regarding Chrono Odyssey. Here on official Twitter account, we have get many, many new updates regarding the environment, regarding combat, regarding what is happening with this game. And it looks like that NPixel is going into the direction of releasing of this game. Lately, we have get also a trailer. That was maybe one month ago. Check dedicated video on my YouTube channel regarding that trailer. So far, everything is looking very promising regarding Chrono Odyssey. Combat footage, you can see a little bit here in front of you, combat footage is looking so good. Also graphic design, absolutely amazing, right? So something to look forward to play later during 2023 when I see any kind of news regarding Chrono Odyssey. I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel, also during my live streams. For now, just to let you know, uh, finally after, I wouldn't say three years, I would say two and a half years, NPixel is doing something regarding Chrono Odyssey and they are moving into direction of release of this game. This will be something very good, very promising and I would say from all of these options which we have later during 2023 to play, 
uh, including Blue Protocol, including Throne and Liberty. Chrono Odyssey is looking very promising. One of the top games which I need to try to play later during 2023. Let's go forward with Ion Classic European Elise. If you are watching my YouTube channel, then I don't need to represent to you any more Ion Classic. Then you know that this is a, let's say, reboot of the game, which is starting with update 1.9 here in the West. We have get release of this game on April 25th. And now we are all about, what, one month after release of this game. Originally, there was two servers, Atreya and Tahabata. I mean, they're still up in the game. However, Gameforge, publisher of this game for the Europe, they needed to block character creation for Atreya server because of very high population of players on Atreya. Uh, most of the players then started to play on Tahabata, second server. However, finally, within previous week, Atreya character creation has been unlocked. That means that you can again create characters on Atreya server. That is very good move, I would say, from Gameforge, because uh, many people who had friends on Atreya server uh, weren't able to play on Atreya. Now they can create character and you can play again with your friends. Currently, what you have regarding Iron Classic European Elise, what is happening, which is not good. Currently, game have lots of DDoS attacks. And every now and then when you play the game, I'm currently in the game playing, I can show, okay. Yeah, this is currently happening with the game. So this was this was by accident now, but it's actually true. Look at this. Every like I don't know, every 20 minutes disconnect. It's it's really unplayable currently. Gameforge is doing whatever they can to fix this issue. They have also give us a public announcement that there are lots of different kind of other games from Gameforge currently under attack. Uh, DDoS attacks uh, from, I don't know who, right? And the many games currently from Gameforge have this issue, right? So you're getting disconnect all the time. This is now a big problem. Game is basically unplayable. Today in the evening, I was trying to live stream a little bit. Uh, we did manage to finish Siege. Nevertheless, yeah, this is not good. Uh, if a situation like this continues, uh, people will quit to play the game, you know? People will stop to play the game. So Gameforge urgently needs to fix this. I don't know how, what they can do, but obviously they need to do something because this is, yeah, very hard to play the game. Other than that, game is absolutely amazing. Game, game is something really great. If you like to play real PC MMORPGs, I can highly recommend to you, try to play Iron Classic in Europe. Check content on my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe also if you are interested into Iron Classic because I'm also preparing lots of content in the future. And also check my live streams on Twitch. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time. Also, I have giveaways ready. I have that uh, Dark Poeta code giveaway every evening. I'm making like few giveaways every 45 minutes, every one hour. I'm making one giveaway. So join me on live streams on Twitch if you want to uh, grab some codes for, uh, uh, for Dark Poeta. That code for Dark Poeta, I think, is giving uh, free activation stones, uh, five Tombstone of Revivals, and a uh, few reset scrolls for Dark Poeta. So... Check content on my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch if you're interested in Iron Classic, and what to say except let's hope that within the next few days, Gameforge will handle this situation regarding disconnects all the time happening in the game. Let's go forward with Throne and Liberty, new upcoming MMORPG developed by NCSoft for PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox. This game, which will be released in the second half of 2023 globally by Amazon Games, currently is in closed beta test over there in Korea. And within last week, yes, reactions of players who were playing over there and the reaction of people who were watching, including me, well, there were not that much positive, right? I mean, I will not rant, I will not complain, I will not use this part of live stream and this video to do that. If you want to check close beta test review of this game. I have done already review, check video on my YouTube channel from like two days ago regarding what is happening with uh, close beta test over there in Korea. Uh, main issues, just in short, combat. Combat is looking a little bit static. However, we have seen combat in the early leveling, early leveling. We have seen like characters level 16 with three skills playing uh, combat, you know. So let's not judge too early. We need to see endgame combat also, right? So, <coughs> sorry for this. I'm still a little bit sick. So, another issue, auto combat. 
also exist in the game, which is not good. And offline mode. Offline mode for sure is not good to have in any MMORPG, especially in these kind of big titles, right? So uh, check details on my YouTube channel. I'm preparing uh, many guides because we have get lots of interesting information regarding Throne and Liberty within this closed beta test. I'm preparing guide regarding guild raids. I'm preparing also a guide regarding season pass regarding different kind of in-game features. Everything in generally is looking very good. I have to say graphics are amazing. Graphics are looking so good. It's a beautiful game, right? Content also looking good. Uh, diversity of weapons, huge diversity of different kind of weapons which you will, you will be able to use in the game. Uh, we have seen also some dungeons, let's say, let's say solo dungeons during leveling, but we have seen only early leveling. And like, like I said, let's try to be objective. Let's try to remain calm. I know that many of you are upset now, disappointed because of combat we have seen and because of auto combat. But don't worry. Let's take a deep, deep breath. Uh, let's, uh, let's remain calm. And you will see in the next week uh, more re reviews of closed beta tests, right? There are many positive things which I have seen. Not only graphic design, huge diversity of weapons, game itself in general is looking very good, right? So let's, uh, let's, let's try to be optimistic and let's not bury this game even before release, you know? And let's not do that. Let's give opportunity to Throne and Liberty. Let's give opportunity to Antisoft because Antisoft will see feedback of the players. They will see of our feedback and they will react. They can still fix many things. So, yeah, like I said, let's just not bury the game before release. Because in my opinion, this game, even with all the negative publicity we have seen within the last few days, many content creators on YouTube, many people who are live streaming are now taking this opportunity with negative titles to grab some views, to grab followers. Uh, even with all of this negative publicity, I still believe that Throne and Liberty will be a big MMORPG release. It will be a big MMORPG release. Don't forget, Antisoft is a big gaming company. Also, Amazon Games, publisher for the West. I have no doubt this release will be big. However, we need to give feedback to Antisoft. They can still fix many things before release of the game. When I'm already talking about Amazon Games, just to let you know, regarding global beta test, there is still no news. There is still no news this evening when I'm... Uh, during live stream, I was checking there is nothing new regarding global beta test, but that global beta test should be up also very, very soon. Also from NCSoft, you can see here on official website of NCSoft, basically there is not something really big regarding any kind of news. The biggest news from previous week was actually that we are able to see finally real gameplay footage of Throne and Liberty, which is looking graphically absolutely great. I have to say it's looking... Oh, that, what was that? That was something close to my house. So, graphically, it's looking really, really great. Everything. Content of the game, also no problem. But combat and auto combat, they can still fix those things, right? So, remain positive. Remain calm. Hype is still real. I know that many of you feel disappointed. But don't. Don't, right? I'm preparing new video on my YouTube channel very soon where I will talk about positive things which we have seen during closed beta test because we have seen also many positive things. So let's not focus only on the negative things. Let's also focus on positive things. And also this evening, I need to mention Blue Protocol, new upcoming MMORPG anime, free-to-play anime MMORPG developed by Bandai Namco, developers from Japan. This Developers from Japan. This game is supposed to be released in 2023, actually in second half of 2023. But you can see here now in front of you, coming 2024. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. In the previous week, we have actually get officially announced that Blue Protocol release, global release, is delayed until 2024. Why? Is this because of this game, Throne and Liberty? Probably yes. Probably yes, because Amazon Games will also publish Blue Protocol globally. So, I mean, to release two big MMORPG titles in the second half of 2023 makes no sense. It's not logical. So they needed to delay one game. So they have delayed Blue Protocol until 2024. However, 
or there in Japan. Blue Protocol will be released very, very soon. Let me show you here. This is official Japanese website of Blue Protocol. You can see here, release date, June 14th. Yes, unbelievable, right? So very, very soon, you will all have opportunity to play Blue Protocol Order in Japan. Yes, I will try to play it. Of course, I will let you know how does the gameplay feel. And uh, I would say, like I said, this delay, until, uh, delay of release until 2024 is one logical step from Amazon Games, from NCSoft, and from Bandai Namco. Why would the Blue Protocol and Throne and Liberty compete? No need for that. Now we have time to dedicate ourselves to dedicate ourselves in the second half of 2023 to Throne and Liberty. And then in 2024, we are going to enjoy in Blue Protocol. For this evening, just to let you know, yes, release of Blue Protocol, global release of Blue Protocol is delayed until 2024, but release over there in Japan is coming, you can see, wow, very, very soon. Nobody was expecting so soon, but it's coming on June 14th. So this, uh, for this evening, that would be it regarding MMORPG gaming news. If you are interested into MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel. If you are watching this as live stream, let's go for a live stream. And uh, yeah, if you are watching this as video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course, Throne and Liberty content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.